Hi students, today I am going to explain vector product or cross product between two vectors. So I have a vector A cross B equals to modulus of A vector and modulus of B vector sin theta into n cap. So up to this term which will tell us about the magnitude of the resultant, this unit vector which will tell us about the direction of the resultant vector of the resultant vector. So the best example for the cross product is angular momentum. So my L equals to R cross P. P is a vector, R is a vector, L is also a vector. So if I am performing operation between two vectors, I am getting a resultant of a another a vector. So the another example is torque. Tau equals to R cross F. A force is a vector, position vector, displacement is also a vector, then torque is also a vector. So if I have a two vectors, A in the x-axis, I cap, my B is also in the x-axis, is also I cap. So if I, the angle between these two is going to be 0, then sin 0 equal to 0. So I cross I equal to 0 j cross j equal to 0, k cross k equal to 0. So, if you are taking the cross product between two parallel vectors, you will get the resultant vector is 0. So, now I am going to explain what is happening if you have two perpendicular vectors. So, I am going to consider k vector in x axis, b vector in the y axis. So the unit vector along x axis should be i cap, the unit vector along y axis is going to be j cap. So the angle between these two vectors is going to be 90 degree. So I am going to take my theta equals to 90 degree, therefore my sin theta equals to 1. So if you are performing the operation between i cross j, I am getting a non-zero value. So my resultant vector is in the z direction. So I am going to write my z direction. The unit vector along z direction is to be k cap. So if I am performing a vector product between i cross j, I am getting resultant in the k direction. So if I am performing operation between j cross i, what is happening? j cross i. So, I am getting my resultant in the negative z axis minus k cap. So, when I am going from i to j, this is in the anti-clockwise direction, I am getting my positive resultant in the positive direction. When I am moving from j cross j to i, so my resultant vector is in the minus z axis negative. So now I am going to perform the operation between j cross k. So j cap cross k cap equals to i cap k cross j cap equals to minus i cap. And then k cross i cap equals to j cap i cross k cap equals to minus of j cap. So my a vector cross b vector is not equals to b vector cross a vector. So I can simply write my a cross b equals to minus of b cross a. So now I am going to explain how to take the cross product between two vectors. 
So I have a vector equals to ax i cap ay j cap plus az k cap and b vector equals to bx i cap by j cap plus bz k cap so a cross b equals to so i'm going to use the determinant method to solve this problem i j and k cap a x a y a z b x b y b z so if i want to get the resultant vector along i cap so i have to perform the operation in j and k so first i have to multiply this with this a y b z minus this and this a z b y minus j cap if you want to get the resultant along j axis i should perform the operation between i and k so a x b z minus a z b x plus k cap if you want to get the resultant along my k axis i have to perform the operation between j and i and j so a x b y a x b y minus a y b x so now i give the example how to find the cross product between two vectors so a a vector equals to 3 i cap plus j cap plus 2 k cap b vector equals to 2 i cap plus minus 2 j cap plus 4 k cap so now i'm using the determinant method to solve this a cross b equals to i cap j cap and k cap 3 1 2 2 minus 2 and 4 so if you want to get i cap so i should perform operation between j and k so i'm going to consider 1 2 minus 2 and 4 minus j cap so i have to perform the operation in i and k 3 2 2 and 4 plus k cap 3 1 2 minus 2 so now i cap 1 into 4 4 minus 2 into minus 2 is going to come minus 4 so this will come plus 4 minus j cap three into four twelve minus two into two four plus k cap three into minus two minus six One into two minus two. So I may write eight i cap minus eight j cap plus uh, uh minus two into minus six. Will come minus eight k cap. So this is a resultant vector of a cross b vector.
So now I'm going to explain how to find the angle between A and B. So we know A cross B vector equals to modulus of A vector, modulus of B vector and sin theta. So we want to find my theta sin theta equals to modulus of a vector cross modulus a modulus of a cross b vector divided by modulus of a vector and modulus of b vector modulus of b vector so i can simply write modulus of a cross b vector so we know from square root of h square plus minus h square plus minus h square a cross b modulus of a cross b equals to 8 into root 3 then modulus of a vector equals to square root of 3 square plus 1 square plus 2 square. So this will become square root of 14. The modulus of B vector equals to 2 square plus minus 2 square plus 4 square equals to square root of 24. So if I am going to substitute these values in the above equation, the name I write. sin theta equals to 8 root 3 divided by root 14 into root 24. So if I simplifying this equation, I am going to get theta equals to sin theta equals to 2 by root 7 and Theta equals to sine inverse of 2 by root 7. So this is how we are going to calculate the angle between two vectors. Now I am going to prove the cross product between two vectors to parallel vectors is 0. So for that I am going to take the example a vector equals to 2 i cap minus 3 j cap minus k cap b vector equals to minus 6 i cap plus 9 j cap plus 3 k cap so my a cross b vector equals to determinant of i cap j cap and k cap so it will become 2 minus 3 minus 1 minus 6 9 and 3 if you want to get the resultant in the i, I direction my operation should be in j and I have to take this and this minus 3 minus 1 9 3 minus j cap so I can simply take 2 minus 1 minus 6 and 3 plus k cap equal 2 and 2 2 minus 3 minus 6 and 9. So I cap minus 3 into plus 3 is equal to minus 9 minus of minus 9 equal plus 9 minus j cap 
2 into 3 is 6 minus 6 minus 6 plus k cap 18 90 to 18 minus 18 is equal to 0. So we are taking the cross product between two parallel vectors, I am getting 0. And I can simply say my a vector which is parallel with my b vector. So I just stop at this point. To get regular updates, subscribe our channel and share with your friends. Thank you.